What's going on guys? Joe here for Gamer Toys. Welcome back to another pickup video. Let's see what kind of shit I got today. This is the Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Samurai Usagi Yojimbo 12 inch figure. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this figure is probably gonna be kind of hard to find, maybe. I'm not sure, I know that the, the three and three quarter or the four inch figure, uh, I've only seen one and that's the one that I bought. I haven't seen another one since. So when I walked into Walmart and I saw three of these bad boys, I grabbed one. Maybe I should have grabbed all of them because some people might need help finding it, but let's hope that he's not too hard to find. He looks just like the, the smaller version, just blown up. The paint's great. Uh, he has that extra eyebrow painted on, which is cool. Now on the back of the box here, it shows his swords being painted. The handles are blue with some gold trim. Unfortunately, the swords in the box, which you can't see, but they're just, they're molded in the solid gray plastic. There's no paint apps. But besides that, this is a pretty cool figure and I'm glad to add him to the collection. I'm a big Yojimbo fan. I haven't been buying a whole lot of Nick Turtles recently, you know, but uh, when this guy started showing up on the pegs and I knew that his figures were coming, I kind of got back into it. You gotta put him right now. Next up, this is the Marvel Legends Daredevil Punisher from the Netflix show, Frank Castle, man. This is an awesome, awesome looking figure. I'm glad that I just happened to stumble upon it. They had the Punisher and Daredevil. I left Daredevil there. Maybe I'm starting to regret that just a little bit. Lucky for me though, I had the forethought to place him on the top shelf and push him back at Walmart. So if I want, I can go back and grab him because unless you're my height, you're not gonna be able to see it. So Frank Castle, he comes with a uh, Swamp, is that Swamp Thing? Oh, it's Man Thing, Man Thing. So he comes with Man Thing's left arm here. Great paint deco. The face sculpt looks just like John Berthal. I mean, it might be off just a tiny bit, but when you look at that face, you definitely see John. Uh, the outfit is great. I love the skull t-shirt, the coat, everything about this figure is awesome. Uh, Punisher is going to be a great series. I can't wait for that to drop on Netflix. Awesome. Well, as of filming this, I just found it yesterday, but uh, this probably won't go up until next week. So yeah, whatever. This is the Marvel Thor Ragnarok Marvel Legends series two pack. It comes with Thor and Hulk. Hulk is all decked out in his gladiator armor, which is amazing. He's got face paint and warrior paint on his body. I mean, I'm really, really hyped for this movie. It's going to be awesome. These figures are great. Uh, it's the same thing with the Spider-Man 2-pack that I got uh, earlier. I'm really getting into this scale uh, Marvel Legends series. This scale is awesome. Figures are just great. For being three and three quarter inch figures, there's a lot of paint. There's a lot of detail in these figures. Really awesome two-pack. Uh, if you guys can find it, I suggest picking it up. Just for the Hulk alone, man, this is awesome. Hopefully I'll be able to find the six inch Marvel Legends versions of uh, Thor Ragnarok. I haven't seen him yet. I know they're out in some places. Hopefully I'll get lucky. But yeah, awesome set. Last but not least, this is a piece that I've been after for a while. I've come across it a few times. But I haven't picked it up because the price was just too much. I didn't, you know, I don't want to pay $50 for this. I don't even want to pay $40 for this. Uh, a place local to me has it for $35. I really didn't even want to pay that. I was finally able to get from Kenner's Waterworld line, the Tremarin. This might not be that exciting to a lot of people, but to me, Waterworld is such a guilty pleasure. And I love, 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 love Kenner's Waterworld line. And this ship... This is probably one of the best things about this line is this ship. The ship's great. It's got some great box art. Uh, it has a picture, what I think is an actual picture of the Atoll Enforcer here, but then they have like a drawing, like an artist rendering of uh, the Mariner here in extra figure form. Um, so like half of this is the actual toy and it looks like half is a drawing, which is pretty sweet. It's got a picture here and it says the mass goes as high as 21 inches. Flip it over on the back here. Uh, I'm not that great at reading upside down, but it says the Trimaran. It uh, converts to a fast attack combat ship. It shows you all the action features that you can do with your figures. Looks like it's got a rope he can swing from. It has a rotating mass. It has a release sail and boom from the decking. I mean, this boat's sweet. It's got a little gun here that shoots a missile on the side. It's got his crossbow, which doesn't fire, but it looks cool. I'm so happy to get this, and uh, a big shout out goes to Jay, because Jay made this possible. He was at a convention, the actual toy show part of this 
convention was starting to you know wrap up people were packing up their stuff and as he was walking by this one booth he noticed some Waterworld figures and then he saw this and he texted me about it and then uh, we got on the phone together I told him a price to offer to the gentleman which was 20 bucks he accepted and now I have this um, would I have liked to have gotten it for 10 bucks sure but 20 bucks for a sealed uh, Tremarin is good the box is in good shape really the corners are a little dinged up but that just looks like normal wear from being on a shelf um, or being in storage really happy with this purchase all right guys so these are my pickups I want to thank you for watching uh, we got an awesome 12 inch Yojimbo, the Punisher, Thor Hulk, and then the prize piece right here, the Trimaran. So yeah, these are my pickups. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. I'm out.